The progress in this project pan is crazy this month. I am absolutely over the moon buzzing to share this update with you guys. This of course is This Is Fantasy, made by my wonderful friend Ali. So Ali has made a list of fantasy creatures and then made a prompt to correlate with that creature. I like to randomize my prompts every month and today I do have one rollout. However, I do have two other eyeshadows in this project that are so close to being finished, it is ridiculous. And I think next month is gonna be the month for both of them. Also, just before I jump into the video, I am using some new tech today. So if the color or the sound or everything is a little bit off, please bear with me. I'm trying my best. Please let me know down below if this is a good color, if you'd change the warmth, the coolness, the whatever. Just let me know down below nicely, please. But just before we do jump into the video, if you have not already, like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me and I upload every single day here on my YouTube channel. I love bright fun, colorful makeup, or today, super smoky makeup. I have done this look. The Get Ready With Me will be live tomorrow. It's talking about makeup blindness. And I mean, you can see my eyes today. So I think you can kind of gather what side of the fence I'm on on that argument. But um, it's going to be an interesting one, that's for sure. So definitely stick around, turn on your notifications because you don't want to miss that. But this is fantasy. Oh my goodness, I'm feeling like Medusa today. So I feel like it's a very good luck to do this project with because I'm feeling mysterious, I'm feeling dark, I'm feeling grungy. Let's jump into it. So I'm gonna go from newest product to oldest product and just buckle yourself in guys, buckle yourself in because this, it's, amazing and so frustrating at the same time, but I'm just gonna jump into it. The first prompt that I'm gonna talk about today is the prompt Griffin, and it was rolled in last month, and that prompt is a product that takes all your strength to use. So I was thinking, mm, I was trying to find something that's difficult to open, so like literally takes all your strength to use, but I don't have anything like that. So I ended up going with a purple eyeshadow. I'm not a purple girl, and I decided to choose the shade sleeper from the Colourpop That's My Pleasure palette. And as you can see, it had a massive dip in it last month. And my goal was indeed to try and hit pan on this. I didn't think it would take too long. I'd been kind of casually working on it every now and then. And this is what it looks like today. You can see we have indeed hit pan on this. And we only took four uses to hit pan on this, which is amazing. I knew it wouldn't take too long, but four uses is absolutely incredible. I'm so excited about that in and out. Here it is, a nice juicy pan. I use this with Bonfresco a lot. That was the shade that I was trying to finish in my Pan That Palette last month. It was very similar to this kind of shade, if not a little bit cooler. So I put Sleeper on my outer corner, blended it out with Bonfresco quite a few times, and that was how I got pan in this. This is the first pan in this palette. I'm very, very excited about that. I do want all of my palettes to have love and to show usage on them. I don't like having pristine makeup. I want everything to look like it's used and it's loved and that I've got some money out of it. And now this is on the track to being like that. I have worked on quite a few of these eyeshadows before. So the shade Pretty Cruel was in a Pan Those Eyeshadows project. Believe it or not, I have used this 15 times. It looks pretty untouched and I've dabbled in a few of the other shades as well. But for now, I'm pretty happy with this rolling out, going back in my drawers and having a little bit of a break from it. Playing with Bonfresco, I didn't realize how much it had kind of burnt me out with pinks. I'm not a pink girl at the best of times and so forcing myself to wear a like dusty pinky eyeshadow every day was quite difficult. But I'm very glad that I've not only finished Bonfresco, but also hit pan on this. So it's definitely not in vain. I'm very happy about that. I've decided not to weigh this eyeshadow palette just because I'm only working on one shade of the whole palette. So the weight difference would be minimal. So with four uses, this is going to be rolling out. So next product was a little bit of a fail last month. So I rolled a product in two months ago and I forgot to write it down. So I just didn't have any any progress on it because I didn't put it in my notes. But last month I rectified that error and I rolled in this technically 
from the month before. And that prompt was a print or embossing and I decided to roll in my Kinder Kind Bronze Bronzer. And you can see it is very much a dupe for the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It does have that embossing of kind of like waves or something, like silk, I don't know, I don't know. But it's cute and it's nice. And I have finally actually used this this month. So this is what it looks like. You can definitely tell that this has been used. I have worn down this embossing a little bit and I'm really, really happy about that because before it just looked unloved, untouched, unused. And now it's got a little bit of disturbance in this pan and that is perfect. So I had a 25 use goal on this. I have used this 10 times this month. Of course, I forgot it existed the month before that. So that is 10 uses in total. I have 15 uses left to go on this and I think I can get that done next month. Oh my God, if I can get that done next month, this update next month is gonna be like the best thing ever. I'm not even gonna lie, it really is. Just stay tuned because girl, I've got some, I've got some progress to share with you, but I'm getting way ahead of myself. This is really, really nice. It's really, really smooth, actually. It was definitely a shock because I've had this in my makeup collection for such a long time and I've just never reached for it, really. I got it in a glossy box years ago. It sat in my drawers, gathered dust. And I've seen uh, Gabriella Francis use this a few times, but I've just never, never had that urge to reach for it myself. And I finally have, and it's really nice. Maybe it's something that I will pan in the future. It's not very big, and I'm guessing it's not very deep, but we'll see. So for weights, last month this weighed 21.38 grams, and this month it weighs 21.20 grams. So I've used 0.18 grams of this this month. I think that's really, really good going for only 10 uses. I'm gonna keep going on this, keep pushing forward. My pan at that face palette bronzer has been finished. So that means I'm kind of free to play around with bronzers and that is such an amazing feeling. Let me tell you that for free. All right, so let's move on to the prompt Oni and that was an Asian beauty brand. And I decided to roll in this. This is my She Glam lipstick in the shade Just Got Real. And we had absolutely mega failed on this over the past few months. I'd had this in one, two, three months before this month. So four months in total. And in the first three months, I'd only used it nine times. That is not good. Why have I only used it nine times, you ask? It's because of the colour. It's a very, very orange shade. And I've been trying to pan a lot of like pink shades recently and it just hasn't gone. But this is what it looks like today. I'm not sure if it's got any visual progress, but I have used this six times this month for a total of 15 uses. So considering that I'd only used it nine times in the first three months, I think that is pretty good. You can see this shade is like orange. It is not something that I used to like really get into. However, guess what my focus shade in my Pan That Palette is this month? It is Realgar, which is an orange, and it has gone so well with this lipstick. I've loved those two together. I've been doing a really, really basic everyday neutral look. It's Realgar in the crease, maybe a dark brown on the outer corner, a nice kind of orangey shimmer on the lid, and then this. This has gone really, really well. I'm really, really happy with my progress on this. I have 25 uses as my goal and I am on 15 uses. So we could have this gone as well next month. That would be incredible. We could have a clean sweep next month. That would be amazing. So definitely stay tuned for that. You do not want to miss it. But this is actually, I was going to say that I really don't like this. It's not nice. Uh, the color clashes, but I think paired with the right things, I think this is really, really cute. I've been on a cool tone kick recently and I've convinced myself that the only things I ever like is cool tones. But you know what? I can chameleon a little bit. I can try new things. I can get some new favorites, even if they aren't cool tones. And I have really, really enjoyed this over the past month, especially paired with Realgar. So for weights, last month, this weighed 46.23 grams. And this month it weighs 46 grams exactly. So you guessed it, we lost 0.23 grams. That is the most we've ever lost in a month with this lipstick. I'm really, really excited about that. 
I have finally found a way that I enjoy using it. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. And now let's move on to something that, I mean, we're getting into the exciting ones now. We've got two more products to talk about. Both of them are eyeshadow and just like, I've got heart palpitations just thinking about updating these. So let's go. The next prompt was the prompt Leviathan. And I've made a joke about this every single time I talk about this. This prompt was a product you can easily finish. And I've been working on this for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months. So I didn't quite get the memo there, but my, my thinking is definitely there. It's just very wrong. So this is the shade Pillow Talk from the Carnival XL Pro palette. And my thought process was it's gonna be easy to finish because it's just a lid setting shade. I don't have to put any real thought into it. I can just set my lid and it's gonna be really easy. I didn't necessarily think that it was gonna take seven plus months. And this is what it looks like today. You can see we are so close to finishing this. It is crazy. The product is like paper thin in this pan. I really think I can have this done next month. What do you think? Let me know down below. Do you think I can have this done in one month? Look, 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 look. I'm hoping you can see it is so paper thin in this pan. It is crazy. I'm so excited about this. If we can have two eyeshadow empties in one month in just one project, I'm going to be absolutely over the moon with this. I, I really think we can do it. I really think we can. I'm going to really, really try hard to finish this. I've used this 23 times this month for a total of, are you ready? 121 uses. <laughs> Oh my God, easy to finish where? I cannot see her. Easy to finish? I must have been out of it when I rolled this in. Um, I get my thought process. It's completely incorrect though. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. The end is in sight for this. The end is in sight. The end is so close. Now, of course, I have not weighed this because we're using one shade out of about 70,000. So there's no point in weighing this because the weights are just gonna be like all over the place. I'm gonna trust the visual progress. We've got amazing visual progress, so I'm very, very happy about that. I'm just willing this please be done. I think I might repress it again just because it's all collected right at the top here. I just want it all in the middle. My finger is still stained. Look at that. I, I apologize for that. Very sorry. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, I might repress this again just to get it all in the middle, make sure that I manage to use everything quite easily, especially if I'm on the go. I can just dip in, set my eye primer and go. I don't have to think about it too much. So what do you think? Oh, will this be gone next month? I'm really hoping so. And now let's move on to the final product in this project. Oh boy, this has had me on tender hooks for months. So this prompt was the prompt Fenrir and that was a tricky product and I decided to roll in this. This is my Franken eyeshadow from the Soph X Revolution palette. This is a Franken of the shades Rosewood and Mug Cakes and they make the perfect brow shade for me. And that is how I have been working on it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight months, I think now. That is crazy. And this is what it looks like today. Look at this. Look at this. There is nothing left in this. It makes me so annoyed, but also so proud. I am in two completely different mindsets with this and it is... Oh, it's crazy. I have definitely been using this as an eyeshadow as well over the past month as a deepening shade on my outer corner. A lot of the times it's as like a whole eye look all over the lid, all in the crease, and then I blend it out with something else. I've been trying to get as much use on this as possible. Of course, I've been using it in my brows every single day as well. This has been used and abused. And next month, this has to be done. This has to be done next month. Are you kidding me? Please God. Please God. Uh, so I've used this 25 times this month for a total of 189 uses in the project. Are you kidding me? 189 uses 
That is mad. And of course, because this is a franking of two eyeshadows, when this is gone, that will be two eyeshadows done. Two eyeshadows out of my collection in one go. It makes me so unbelievably excited. I don't know what I'm gonna use in my brows now because I've used this for an eternity, it seems like. I have no idea that other brown shades exist, apparently, because this has just been my primary focus for forever. We have, of course, lost some weight. So last month, this weighed 1.52 grams, and this month, it weighs 1.43 grams, meaning that we used up 0.09 grams of this. Will we ever be done with it? I don't know. I don't know. Will we ever be done? Is there an end in sight? I, it could just go on forever. It better not. It better not. I'm really hoping it doesn't because I really am so excited to have this done. But this is not the month. Next month has got to be the month. Next month has to be the month. Comment down below. What do you think? So that means we have one exciting rollout. So I will grab my phone and I will randomize a new prompt for the new round of This Is Fantasy. All right, so I always seem to get repeats even though I swear that I delete them all the time, but it just is, it doesn't get the memo. So let's see what we get. Leviathan, I swear we have that. Yes, we do. I swear to God, every time, every time every time. Let's go, let's go. Something new. A zombie? I know what that is, I think. Okay, we haven't had that, and I'm pretty sure that's a product that's falling apart, but let me double check. Yep, it is indeed a product that's falling apart, so let me have a rummage through my drawers. I can't think of anything that's coming to mind. Um, I'll see... I don't know. So I know some people might see this as a bit of a cop out, but I think I might have to re-roll just because there's only two things that jump out. I've gone through my whole collection. So I do have my Carnival XL Pro and this is kind of falling apart because look at this mirror. Yeah, but A, I already am working on one shade from this palette in this project, which is Pillow Talk. And I also have this as my focus palette for my Pan Those Eyeshadows. So this is a very prominent palette and I don't wanna roll in another eyeshadow from this palette. So I don't wanna do that. And the only other product that I can think of is my Modern Renaissance because I mean, look at all this. It is, it really is falling apart. There's big cracks here. It's nasty, but this is my Pan That palette and there's only three shades left and I'm working on all of them. So I just, I don't know what else I can roll in, really. So I know that this is so annoying and so frustrating, but I am gonna have to re-roll because I literally don't have anything. So this is the first time this has happened. It's, it's interesting. So let's see what our new prompt is. Golems, have we had that? So we haven't had that prompt and that prompt is a product that helps slash rescues you. So this should be interesting. Let me find this. I think I'm gonna have a lot more luck with this prompt. Okay, this was so easy. I had less than a minute in between those takes. So my skin can sometimes be very, very annoying. Uh, I do get a lot of breakouts and in times of stress especially. So to cover them up, I'm gonna roll in a concealer. I'm actually not working on any concealers right now. So this is the perfect opportunity. It rescues me, it covers up my spots. I've got a big old one on my forehead here, some on my lip, really annoying but hopefully they calm down soon. This is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. And I'm gonna put a 50 use goal on this just because again, it is the only concealer that I'm currently working on. I think I'll be able to use it pretty exclusively. So I'm not fussed at all about putting a big usage goal on this. So I'm feeling a lot more confident with that instead of rolling in something from my Carnival XL Pro that I'm just not really wanting to do. I hope you guys don't mind that little switcheroo there at the last minute. What do you think of my two eyeshadows? What do you think? What do you think? And the only correct answer you can give me is they will be done next month. That is it. I don't want to hear anything else. But this is it for today, guys. This is where I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you did have a wonderful day today. And don't forget to like and subscribe. There are a lot of new fun projects, not project pans, but like 
projects in general coming very, very soon. I'm very excited for the future of this channel. I hope you are as well. And with that being said, this is it. I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye-bye.